G'day guys, how are we going? Well this week's question for Basie's Q&A comes from Damien. Now Damien's asked, when towing an off-road caravan, when do you know if it's just not safe to take that big caravan up that track? Well this is a great question mate, because look a lot of people now, they're starting to explore Australia and getting out and about in their caravans and camera trailers, because the off-road caravan market and the camera trailer market is fairly exploding at a rapid rate and people now are traveling and they're taking their home away from home with them on the back of their full drive so the best advice i've got from that is look let's just take the high country for example because there's a lot of people coming here and they want to you know bring their camper trailers and caravans in i would be setting up find a nice spot on a river somewhere to tow your, your camper trailer in or your caravan set it all up and then just do base camps in and out because there's a lot of tracks down here if you don't know where you're going you can get yourself into some serious trouble down here and sometimes it's hard enough just turning a four wheel drive around let alone if you've got a camper trailer sitting on the back of your full drive and you've got to turn around for whatever reason with the track ahead of you so that would be what i'd be doing but other than that i'd get some serious advice on the tracks if you just want to you know go that little bit more off the grid and get away from you know a few crowds and things but seriously get some good advice on the tracks you're going to drive on and whether it be you know there's lots of avenues from social media parks victoria another great one to get great advice on so have a chat with as many people as you can if you're going to start exploring a little bit deeper particularly in the high country and you want to bring an off-road caravan or a camp trail with you so there you go mate, that's my tip. Find a nice spot on a river, set your base camp up and just do trips in and out I reckon. And then you come back, camp's all set up, kick back and relax for the afternoon on a nice river somewhere. So there you go Damien, hope that's answered your question mate. Keep those questions rolling in and fair chance, I'll see you guys out in the bush someday.